all. You're going to get sick of seeing me in this top. Well, it's a dress, but so third time I've filmed in it, but I haven't been feeling good, so you get what you get. <laughs> um, since I was sick, I slept all day yesterday. Had such a horrendous headache. I don't know what was going on. Still have a little, little bit, but not near as bad. So, um, I missed reading Psalms, so now we've got two days worth, so hopefully we can get through it at 16 through 22. So let's give it a try. Uh, the Golden Secret, a precious song engraved in gold by King David. Hmm, that's interesting. Keep me safe, almighty God. I run for dear life to you, my safe place. So I said to the Lord God, you are my maker, my mediator, and my master. Any good thing you find in me has come from you. And he said to me, my holy lovers are wonderful, my majestic ones, my glorious ones, fulfilling all my desires. That there are those who yield to their weakness and they will have troubles and sorrows unending. I never gather with such ones, nor give them honor in any way. Lord, I have chosen you alone as my inheritance. You are my prize, my pleasure, my portion. I leave my destiny and its timing in your hands. There's nothing else we can do, we have to do that. A pleasant path leads me to pleasant places. I'm overwhelmed by the privileges that come with following you. You have given me the best. The way you counsel and correct me makes me praise you more. For your whispers are in the night giving me wisdom, showing off what, you, what to do next. Because you are close to me and always available, my com confidence has never been shaken. So the whispers in the night thing, I wonder if he comes to us in dreams. I don't know. I think so sometimes. Because you are close to me and always available, my confidence will never be shaken. For I experience your wraparound presence every moment. My heart and my soul explode with joy, full of glory. Even my body will rest confident and secure. For you will not abandon me to the realm of death, nor will you allow your holy ones to experience corruption. For you bring me a continual re revelation of resurrection life, the path to the blessings that bring me face to face with you. Hmm. I didn't think they knew about resurrection back in those days. I guess so. Uh, Psalm 17, a cry for justice. Priestly prayer by King David. Listen to me, Lord. Hear the passionate prayer of this honest man. It's piercing my heart. Piercing, it's my piercing cry for justice. My cause is just and my need is real. I've done what's right and my lips speak truth. Lord, I've always lived my life before your face, so examine and exonerate me. Vindicate me and show the world I'm innocent. For a visitation of the night, you inspected my heart and refined my soul in the fire until nothing vile was found in me. I wanted my words and my ways to always agree. Follow your word. Following your word has kept me from wrong. Your ways have molded my footsteps, kept me from going down the forbidden paths of the destroyer. My steps follow in the tracks of your chariot wheels, always staying in their path, never straying from your way. That's a good visual. You will answer my answer me, God. I know you always will, like you always do as you listen with love to my every prayer. Magnify the models of your mercy to all who seek. Make your pure one wonderful to me, like you do for all of those who turn aside to hide themselves in you. Protect me from harm. Keep me an eye, keep an eye on me like you would a child. Reflect in the twinkling of your eye. Yes, hide me with the shelter of your embrace under your protect under your outstretched wings. Protect me from protect me there from all my all my foes. For there are many who surround my soul to completely destroy me. They are, they are pitiless, heartless, hard as nails, swollen with pride and filled with arrogance. See how they close in on me, waiting for the chance to throw me to the ground. They're like lions eager to tear me apart, the young and fearless lions lurking in secret. So ferocious and cruel, um, so ferocious and cruel, ready to rip me to shreds. Arise, God, and control them. Challenge them with your might. Free me from their clutches and rescue me from their rage. Throw them down down to the ground, those who live only for life, this life on earth. Thrust them out of their prosperity and into their portion of eternity. Leave the wealth and wickedness behind. As for me, because I am innocent, I will see your face until I see you for who you really are. 
Then I will wake with your form and be fully satisfied, fulfilled in the revelation of your glory in me. Okay, that was yesterday. Because <laughs> I'm behind today's today. And it's, that was 16 and 17. And today they must all be short because there's several of them. It's 19 through, no, 18 through 22. Um, I love you, Lord. Praise the song to the pure and shining one by King David, his servant, composed when the Lord rescued David from all his many enemies, including the brutality of Saul. Lord, I passionately love you and I am bounded to you. For now, you become my power. You are as real to me as bedrock beneath my feet, like a castle on a cliff, my for ever for firm fortress, my mountain of hiding, my pathway of escape, my tower of rescue, where none can reach me, my secret strength and yield around me. You are salvation's ray of brightness shining in the hillside, always the champion of my cause. All I need to do is to call to you, singing to you the praiseworthy God. When I do, I am safe and sound in you. For when the ropes of death wrap around me and terrifying torrents of destruction overwhelm me, taking me to death's door to doom's demise, doom's domain, I cry out to you in my distress, the delivering God, and from your temple throne, you hear my troubled cry. My sobs come right to your heart and you turn your face to rescue me. The earth itself shivered and shook, it reeled and rocked before him as the mountains trembled and they melted away. For his anger was kindred burning on my behalf. Fierce flames leapt from his mouth, erupting while blazing burning coals as smoke and fire encircled him. He stretched heaven's curtain open and came to my defense. Swiftly he rose to earth as the stormy skies was lowered. He rode a chariot of thunder clouds amid dark, thick darkness, a cherub his steed as he swooped down, soaring on the wing of the spirit wind. Wrapped and hidden in the thick cloud darkness, his thunder tabernacle surrounded him. He hid himself in mystery darkness that the dense green clouds were his garments. Suddenly the brilliance of his presence broke through and lightning bolts with a mighty storm from heaven. Like a tempest dropping fires of coal, the Lord thundered the great God above every God and spoke, this was really long, and spoke with his thunder voice from the skies. What fearsome hailstones flashes were before him, he released lightning arrows and routed my foes. See how they ran and scattered in fear. Then with his mighty roar, he had laid bare the foundations of the earth, and covering the secret source of the sea, the hidden depths of land and sea were exposed by the hurricane blast of his hot breath. He then reached down from heaven all the way from sky to sea, he reached out into my darkness to rescue me. He took me out of the calamity and chaos and drew me to himself, taking me from the depths of my despair. Even though I was helpless in the hands of my hateful, strong enemy, you were good to deliver me. When I was at my weakest, my enemies attacked, but the Lord held on to me. His love broke open the way and he brought me to a beautiful, broad place. He rescued me because his delight is in me. He rewarded me for doing what is right and staying pure. I will follow his commands and never stop. I will not sin by ceasing to follow him no matter what. For I've kept my eyes focused on his righteous words and I've obeyed everything that he's told me to do. I've done my best to be blameless and follow in all his ways, keeping my heart pure. I've kept my integrity by surrendering to him. And so the Lord has rewarded me with his blessing. This is the treasure I discovered when I kept my heart clean before his eyes. Lord, it is clear to me now that how we how we live will dictate how you deal with this. Good people with will taste your goodness, Lord, and those who are loyal to you, you love to prove that you are loyal and true. And for those who are purified, they find you always pure but you'll outwit the crooked and cunning with, with your craftiness. To humble you brings deliverance by the haughty, proud and haughty you disregard. God, all, all at once you turned on a floodlight for me. You are the revelation light in my darkness and your brightness I can see in the path ahead. With you as my strength, I can crush my enemies 
enemy horde advancing through every stronghold that stands in front of me. What a God you are. Your path is for me has been perfect. You are promised that are proven true. What a sor secure source for all those who turn to hide themselves in you. You are the wraparound God going, giving grace to me. Could there be any other God like you? You are the only God to be worshiped for there is no more secure foundation to build my life upon than you. Yes, that's, I love that particular verse. You have wrapped me in power and now you've shared with me your perfection. Although you've ascended to the highest peak of your glory, it stands in the heavenly place, strong and secure. You've trained me with weapons of warfare, worship. Now I descend into battle of power to chase and conquer my foes. Good grief, this is long. You empower me for victory with your wraparound presence. Your power will make me strong to subdue by stopping, stop stooping down in great, in stooping down in gentleness. You strengthened me and made me great. You set me free from captivity, and now I stand complete and ready to fight some more. I caught up with my enemies and conquered them, and didn't turn back until the war was won. I pinned them to the ground and broke them to pieces. I finished them once and for all. They're as good as dead. You've placed your armor upon me and defeated my enemies, making them bow at my feet. You've made them all turn and tail and run, for though you've destroyed them all, forever silence they have never taught me again. They shouted for help, but no one dared to rescue them. They shouted to God, but he refused to answer them. So I pulverized them to powder and cast them to the wind and swept them away like dirt on the floor. You gave the victory to, on every side for look at how the rations have come to serve me. Even those I, I've never heard of came and bowed to my feet. As soon as they heard of me, they submitted to me. Even the rebel forders obey my every word. Their rebellion fades away as they come near, trembling in their strongholds. They come crawling out of their hideouts, cringing in fear before me. Their courage is gone. The Almighty is alive and conquers all. Praise to, is lifted high to the unshakable God. Uh, towering over all, my Savior God is worthy to be praised. Look how he pays back from all who harm him, subdue, subduing all the people who came against me. He rescues me from my enemies. He lifts me up high and keeps me out of reach, far from the grasp of the violent foe. This is why I thank God the highest, with highest praises. I will sing a song to the highest God, so all among the nations will hear me. You have appointed me king and rescued me time and again with your magnificent miracles. You have been merciful and kind to me, your anointed one. This favor will be forever seen upon your loyal servant David with all my descendants. Boy, that one was long. This one's Psalm 19. I'm not sure I'm going to get through all 22 of them. I mean, up to 22. This is kind of long. I don't want to bore you to death. I think I'll read through 19 and then I'll try and pick up the other two, you know, get caught up next, the next day. God's story in the skies. God's splendor is a tale that is told. His testament is written in the stars. Space itself speaks of his story every day through the marvels of the heavens. I don't know how people can like see things like the Grand Canyon and think there is no God. I mean, it's just amazing. Or see a newborn baby or whatever. His truth is on tour of the starry vault of the sky, showing his skill of creation's craftsmanship. Each day gushes out its message to the next night with night whispering its knowledge to all. Without a sound, without a word, without a voice being heard, yet all the world can see its story. Everywhere its gospel is clearly read so all may know. What a heavenly home God has set for the sun, shining in the superdome of the sky. See how he leaves his celestial chamber each morning, radiant as a bridegroom ready for his wedding. Like a daybreak, King champion eager to run its course. He rises on one horizon, completing its circuit on the other, warming lives and lands with his heat. God's story in the scriptures. God's word is perfect in every way, how it revives our soul. His laws lead us to truth and his ways change the simple into wise. His teaching make us joyful and radiate his light. 
His precepts are so pure. He commands how they challenge us to keep close to his heart. The revelation light his word makes is makes my spirit shine radiant. Every one of the Lord's commands is right. Following them brings cheer. Nothing he says ever needs to be changed. The rarest treasures of life are found in his truth. That's why I prize God's word with other prizes. The finest gold. Nothing brings the soul such sweetness as seeking his living words. For they warn us, his servants, and keeping us from following the wicked way. Give a lifetime of guarantee, great success in every obedient soul. Without this revelation light, how would we ever direct the waywardness of my heart? Lord, forgive my hidden flaws wherever you find them. Keep cleansing me, God, and keep me from my secret selfish sins. And may they never rule over me, for only then will I be free from fault and remain innocent of rebellion. So may the words of my mouth, my meditation thoughts, and every mo movement of my heart be always pure and pleasing, acceptable before your eyes, my only redeeming, my protector. Well, this last little part is my, my word for the day. Um, keep cleansing me, God, and keep me from my secret selfish sins that they may never rule over me. And may the words of my mouth, my meditation thoughts, and every movement of my heart always be pure and blessing and acceptable before your eyes. Yes, that's a prayer we should pray every day. Well, I'm not going to do 20 through 22 because I've already done four of them. The one was really long, so I don't want to bore you to death. It's already been 16 minutes of me reading Psalms, so I'm going to quit for now, and we'll do some more next tomorrow.